You could have put some socks on. I hope your mom's watching. I'm holding on to the last few days of summer. <laughs> Sir Lenny Henry has been making us laugh since he first stepped up to the mic. At just 16, he won the TV talent show New Faces, making him a star overnight. Here's my most recent poem uh, that I wrote while I was waiting for Joe Bugner to hit me. <laughs> and one minute, nobody knew who I was, and then the next minute, a bus stops in the middle of Leicester High Street and a black bus driver shouts, Lenny, you were great on telly last week! And I knew my life had changed. Me, I'm like a Rolls Royce. I need lots of fuel before my luxury buddy can leave the car park and comfortably glide down the motorway. <laughs> Lenny's larger-than-life characters put smiles on faces, but it was meeting his ex-wife Dawn French that helped him make the jump from short-lived sketch work to long-form crafted comedy. Once I'd met Dawn and Rick and Aid and Jennifer and Peter Richardson and people like that and watched the comic strip, I saw this other kind of comedy. So, because we were married, I was obviously influenced by what I was seeing all the time and what I was hearing them talk about. Dublin is, they're so cool in Ireland. It's like a cold Jamaica island, it is. In his new memoir, Rising to the Surface, Lenny looks back on his start, at a time where very few people on TV looked like him. I was the only black person with his own television show. Me and Trevor McDonald, that was it. Black comedians were going on live at the Apollo and saying, the only way I'm going to get my own series is if Lenny Henry dies. One in, one out, don't rock the boat. Are we in a better place now when it comes to representation? It's to do with throwing yourself at the wall and repeatedly saying this must change. Change that's going to have some kind of positive effect on the culture takes a long time and we're, we have to be in it for the long haul. Look at me. I am looking at you. As well as being a driving force behind the charitable efforts of comic relief, Lenny has tried to pave the way for greater diversity on and off screen. His latest outing as a Harfoot in the Lord of the Rings prequel drew racist comments, some questioning the casting of ethnic minorities in Tolkien's Middle Earth. How weird to be in a world where you believe an elf, but you won't believe a black guy next to the elf. That's bizarre. Hashtag fantasy for all. It belongs to all of us, so they should just allow it as young people say. Lenny, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, cheers. I'm wearing the yellow socks today, by the way. See, these, this is something you should get into. The coloured socks. No, just wearing things on your feet. <laughs> Rishi Davda, News at 10.